This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. And we're here though. We we have quite the we have quite the uh, the card tonight though. Huge cage match between Ren Blackheart and former and the former DIE one heavyweight champion Big Shot Benja Nirvana. Well, um, and we're gonna have um a few build up matches leading up to that um matches that. Will include the likes of Seba, the Mad Hatter, Ophelia, Saul Dad, and Karma. And we'll see what else happens though here in the show though. Um, so sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and a drink, and enjoy yourself. <clears throat> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DIE. As Twitch already introduced the card for today's show, I think we should start right with the first match. So, I hope everybody in the back is ready because I'm calling out the first person and for the first match. And hailing from Anarchy's laboratory. Weighing in at 105 pounds, at a size of 5 feet, Ophelia Doll. Yep, and here comes Ophelia. Then here comes Ophelia Doll, prepping herself for this opening match here on DIE Resurgence. <laughs> Ophelia telling just in time. She knows her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought they go Philly. She was asking for an autograph. <laughs> and her opponent, hailing from Savannah, Georgia. I think GA is Georgia, right? Yes. Uh, at a weight of 140 pounds, 
at the size of 5 feet 7 comma star Ah, uh, the re the referee is just informing the both wrestlers about the rules, about yep. the match, and she's just Justine is just checking if both of them are ready for the match. Yep. Karma is ready. I'm ready. And and Ophelia, oh, bell rang and Ophelia. It looked like she kind of charged at Karma, but stopped herself. Yeah, so that's, she she stopped. And she curtsies. Like she, like she normally does. Okay. <clears throat> ah. yeah. And here we go. They lock up here, send them to ring. And Carnival tie up here though, now Philia though. Grabbing that wrist there. Puts in the wrist lock though. A uh, few things to def for the fans who are new here. Uh, Ophelia Doll has just started to wrestle uh, um, a few months ago and she's just joined the DIE family and yeah she she got spot she got trained by Katie Carter and she's trying to make her you know not her debut but tries to work her way up the card up the ranking and on the vertical go. suplex then can I snap suplex there And she faces off against a veteran like Karma Star. That is surely uh, a good experience for her. But of course, on the downside, it's it will also would be an upset if Ophelia would be able to beat Karma. Yep, it sure would. It would be major upset though. And as Ophelia rolls, she gets up. Back to her feet. And now Philia there with a strike. Right there. Now Philia, look at this though, series of strikes here. After uh, exchange of words, uh, Ophelia starts to. Uh, oh, chick kick there! Oh, nice kick! Uh, tries to attack uh, Karma with a couple of punches, followed up by the kick to send her crashing down on the floor. All right, Ophelia. Then that's like now's not the time to be grinning. Though you got her down, you gotta. You gotta finish the job. Of course, through neck breaker there. So Philly, so Philly gets back up and proceeds to stomp away on the veteran. Oh, that's a clever strategy at the beginning of the match. Uh, yeah, try to keep um, to keep Karma grounded. But let's hope that Ophelia is not getting, you know, carried away too, and yeah, get too yeah, overconfident. There's a kick right there to the gut form, clubbed in the back. So far, and so far, this match has been 
has been slow, has been flowing, and uh, methodical. Yeah, I'm only afraid she's taking too much time. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. Jesus. I feel like though she's in control, she needs. <sighs> she's. I should whip to the corner. Yeah, I wish I should to the corner, yep. I'm not sure. Come on. I mean, come on, people! Ooh, she appeared. Oh, oh there we go. Ah, uh, the uh, yeah. just laying in those corner punches there. Now the referee, though, getting the count there. Oh, and Karma shoves her off. Ophelia is on the floor and Karma is stalking her. And she puts her oh. into a full Nelson. Yep. A full Nelson though. Will Ophelia tap as Karma drags her into the center of the ring. Nice. The referee is asking here. Ophelia if she wants to tap. Oh, and, and caught him with a full Nelson slam there. <clears throat> I had to hurt Ophelia. Something really bad. And Kama's just stalking her, waiting for Ophelia to get back up. And once again, Ophelia gets back up. Up, oh, there's a kick. And to the gut. Off the ropes here. And hits the clothesline. Now there's she a fist drop the there. Oh, here we go. First cover of the matchup here though. Here's one, two, and a kick out. At two. Ophelia, oh, Ophelia though, he like, every single time I see her in a match, she just keeps getting better and better and better, more matches that she's in, now once again, Karma Star. Yeah, she seems not to be happy about what's happening right now, mm -hmm. she There's screams now. out, screams out loud, no, and really? tries to face off against it's Karma again, and they're kicking Caught Karma right in the chest. You know, spinning rounds kick directly in the face there. Oh, now Philia though, I I honestly thought she was about to go for a pin there, but instead she's continuing the assault. Kicks her up. Kick to the gut again. Now a, a punch right there, and another strike. Here we go Irish whip though, right on the ropes there. Philia bounces off the opposite ropes. Oh, there's a rolling clothesline there, knocks her down. Down goes Karma. Ophidia used her used the force of her whole body to uh, close line Karma down to the ground. I mean yep. that's a huge achievement considering the weight difference between the two ladies. Yep, that is yep, that is correct. And now Karma though, she's talking a little bit of smack. Is she talking a little bit of she's talking a little bit of sass there? 
What's a Philly, you know? As you can, Ophelia is just catching up with this. This one move has taken out everything in out of her. Out of her now. Oh! Oh, and, and, and apparently Ophelia said something to Karma though, and she did not like that one, one bit. That really got her fired up. She just took Ophelia down. But a grand pound there, but just, just raining down the blows. Oh, 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 and I don't know what Ophelia said to Karma though, but. Oh, the tides have turned. Oh, here we go. Front face lock here. Here we go, Irish whip, bro. Into the corner. Ophelia. Oh, corner knee lift. Just. Just laying in the just laying in the strikes there. Wait, 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 look at this, look at this Ophelia! Trying to get out of it here! Head scissors! Get her with the head scissors there. Tom is down on the ground holding her hat. As a video is trying to catch her breeze, wondering what she has in store next for Kama. I must say this was a very brilliant strategy for Morphinia to lure in a Kama and. Even have the strange after the knee strikes that Kama did to Ophelia in the corner to be able to counter with a and with a move like that. And now she just went for Starship Pain, and she, she I think she got a uh, Kama full force. And now she's she's going for the pinfall. She's going for the pin. And yep, she goes for the pin. Is. One, two, kick out at two. Get Karma yelling off of me. Well, there is some frustration building up in Karma, it seems. Yeah, sure is. I mean, she nearly gets killed by a rookie, and I don't think that will sit well with her. I mean, if you take it back one week ago, Kama just lost to a rookie uh, in Lyria Kruba. And today, losing again against a rookie like Ophelia Dahl, I think that would pretty much hurt her, you know, her Perch attitude, Perch her Perch mindset. Perch oh my Perch god, she just oh. raked her in the eyes. Oh, raked, raked her right in the eyes, wow. You know, Irish Whip, though, I am, and Karma, and Karma willing to do whatever it takes, though. To win this match, though, she does not want to lose a second. She does not want to lose two matches in two weeks. And the referee, though, trying to get control of this match, though. Referee's at three now. I'm on four. There it is, though. Breaks at four there, though. Had the referee gotten to five, it would have been a disqualification. Oh, that doesn't look good. It seems Kama is not done yet, as she's stalking her prey. Not done. As Ophelia, though, getting back to her feet here. Look at Karma. Karma just tossing Ophelia here. Ophelia, you know, part of an Irish whip there, around the corner. Oh, look at this, though, and now Ophelia, you know, going right back to those punches again. Hey, 
Damn, sets. Karma up on the corner though. What is Ophelia gonna do here? Well, I have seen that before. She's probably trying to finish off uh, Karma with her, with her finisher combination uh, made of the stratosphere into. I don't. I can't remember what the second move was. Oh, yeah, but it was yep, a move yep. combination. Yep. You called it. There's a stratosphere right there. Oh, oh, wait. And Karma, she broke it. Lilia was going for the stratosphere, but Karma Star was able to break it. She just shoved um, Ophelia down to the ground, and now the rookie is slowly getting back up to her feet while Karma is uh, going back to the upper side corner, uh, setting up for a kick or something like that. But Ophelia runs up, and oh, oh my god! First suplex right in the corner. And I'm not sure, and I'm not sure though if Ophelia's neck might have whiplash there. Picks her up by her chin. Once again, right back in that full Nelson though. Kama's dragging Ophelia back oh, into the center of the ring. Oh, now the Cobra Clutch. Oh, Karma might win this. Be a submission, though. I think Karma can call it a day now. Yeah. Ophelia, though, is in trouble here. The referee's asking her if she wants to tap out. If she wants to give. Yeah. Give up. Uh, look at Karma. Karma just telling her to just give it up. But I don't think Ophelia, though, I don't think she's gonna give up that easily in this match. Oh, oh, oh she tapped out. Yep, it's over. Karma Star is your winner in this match. Philia had no choice though. She could not withstand the pain any longer. Karma Star wins via submission in this opening match. And the crowd letting it be known. Crouches, let it be known. All right, everybody. Um, guess it's time for us to start paying some bills here. Um, as Ophelia, as she gets checked on by the ref, and and I think the referee, I think Justine is going to sign Ophelia's autograph book. But we're going to. I know she did that already when she entered the, oh, okay. the first time. So as soon as Ophelia gets checked on. Well, uh, but I must say, uh, it was quite impressive the showing of Ophelia. Yeah. So anyway, uh, before we get to our next, our next match. Hold on a minute. I 
we're going to pay some bills, so uh, let me start with the rundown. Uh, DIE is sponsored by ENTSO Radio, the number one for live entertainment. DIE SL Wrestling Collectible Cards, 10 leads each trade. Give, to, uh, give them to friends, place them on your walls. DIE Banner, are here for of your favorite wrestler wrestlers. Uh, say hang on the wall and only one brim and each poster is around 10 lengths. Angelic design, passion for beauty. Get frag truck with your frag on. Bank vinyl dolls, gotcha superheroes are here. Kittens candies if you if you need pictures done, EM Kitty. Lucius <sighs> Kitten That's Jasper. That? Uh, Kurosawa Builders Company Incorporated. If you want builds done, EM Katsugo, Sanjiro, Kurosawa. Uh, wrestling. Black Dragon no, that's, Animation. No, that's, that's not right now, that's not right now, that's not right now. That's, 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 that's after the next match. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's one of the two parts. <clears throat> oh, also, just wanted to let people know we do have gestures in the back. They are 100% free if you wish to be a part. Um, if you also wish to be a part of, of DIE, whether it is you want to be a wrestler or a referee or a commentator, though, there is a box back here that's for the DIE applications. You fill that out and you can turn it in. See what happens. So. Um, our next match is going to be Seba the Mad Hatter taking on Soledad. And Soledad, and Soledad, um, who has been wrestling across many promotions, is making a stop in DIE. During her wrestling tour, this is the first time that Solidad has ever faced Seba, and Solidad has wrestled for, and Solidad has wrestled for. Oh. Okay, so this is not Solidad's first time in Yaido. She has wrestled here before, though. Um, and she's actually wrestled here more than other places that she has stopped by. So we're going to see what Solidad can do in this match. I'm um, pretty sure she will do fine. I've seen her uh, compete all around the world. And it's just great to have her here in DIE uh, now. Uh, so... My Let's first time start. Seeing in Solidarity Nation, so yeah. Uh, so hailing from the Wonderland. Uh, at a weight of 135 pounds, at a height of 536, Seba the Mad Hatter. Looks like we're having a little bit of uh, difficulties backstage. So 
Super is walking down into the ring, entering the ring, and she seems to be ready to take on Solitat. So, why not introduce this her opponent then? Uh, hailing from Monterio, Monter, Mexico, weighing in at 139 pounds, at a weight of a uh, height of five feet seven, the Luchador Solidad. Oh, what an entrance by Solidad with her flashy rings. Uh, she said she is happy to be here today, I think. Oh wait, that was a fan. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. I am back. I have, to, I have to take care of like personal issues. Okay, no problem. So, um, the match is about to start. Okay, cool. <clears throat> the referee is giving the la last minute instructions about the match. Uh, actually, even tries to speak uh, Mexican or Spanish or, Spanish. or whatever. <laughs> uh, Solitaire says C, which I think is yes. Yes. Yep. And yes. here we go. Bill is wrong. Yeah. See what you have. And these two women, and these two women though, I've never actually seen them wrestle before, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be paying oh. close oh. attention. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, look at this though. So you would just to ask a question, Solitat, why is a raven like a writing desk? Uh, I'm not sure what the answer is. Yeah, she caught her... <laughs> she caught her right in a hammerlock, though. But we got a raven right. over there. Uh, Mr. Raven, on, why man. is a raven like a writing desk? <laughs> oh. Oh, shoulder block there. <laughs> Siba is telling uh, Solidar to get back up. Yeah, so she can continue to, to pummel her. Oh, oh, nice knife face chop. There's another one. Oh, you hear the sound of it? That was. That must hurt. She's just laying them in there though. There's an Irish whip there. Those are me meeting in the middle of the ring again. Oh! There's a kick. It's the gut there though. Close line knocks her down. So the dad goes for the leg drop. And she picks um, the mad header back up on her feet. But oh no, oh no, oh god. Saber just countered with a chill breaker.
Oh, and there's a fish drop there. And another one. Saber is staring down at, at Soledad as Soledad is slowly getting back up to her feet. The Mad Hero is quite demanding today as she is once again shouting at Soledad to get back up. She uh, uh, runs through the ropes. Oh, and a oh, backbreaker there. <clears throat> Ooh. A powerful scoop slam by Seba. <laughs> First cover she goes straight here. flipping. One, two, two. Kick out. Kick out and just a two count. Uh, Seba is getting back up to your feet. She reaches. I don't know. She, she reaches down and uh, pulls uh, Solid Out back up to uh, with her by a uh, ponytail, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. I can't get a clear camera angle from this perspective, but she's just whipping uh, Solid Out into the corner. And I guess she's charging up. And they're full speed ahead. Oh, she just runs into a big boat by Solid Ed. Oh, nice follow up into a r Russian leg sweep by Solid Ed. She folds up with a few stumps, laying the smackdown on Siva. So the tide quickly nips up and she jumps down to get the pin. One, two, and Oh! Kick out in the last possible moment. Seba is like, nope, I'm not done yet. It's not that easy to take me down. And I can't quite understand it because, you know, Seba has built a reputation here in the D in DIE. And she probably doesn't like it when somebody who was worked here before but left to you know worked uh, places all over the world to come back here in the company to try to take her spotlight and oh nice hurricane runner by uh, Solitaire and she goes for the pin one two and ah oh, barely Sabre is barely able to kick out but she did it Now, you okay, Twitch? I oh, am yeah, good. Ah, uh, so that is folder um Siva is following in up the attack with a few uh elbow drops. And now she she climbs the top rope. What has she planned?
skills put to the pinfall. One, two, and another kick out by Solid Dad. <clears throat> Seems that Seba is getting a bit frustrated with her opponent now. After yes, after Solid Dad kicked out from the flying elbow drop. Zebra with those knee strikes. Referee counting here. Look at this, all superplex. Those wrestlers are down on the floor, and I think the referee is going to start a standing ten count. We yep. had one. Two. Three. Ah. And Siva is starting to slowly get back up. We had a four. Where's the five? And there is the five. I think uh, Saber is not waiting to for the ten count to end. She's going for the pin. One, two, three, and uh, uh, I mean one, two, and kick out. And the crowd just chanting now, this is awesome. Irish whip here. All oh, takes her down, ground and pound. Now it's up for Solidar to get on the top rope. As uh, Silver is making, uh, slowly getting back up. Sort of gets up, gets up a bit wobbly here. A bro, flying Larry, it takes her down. Takes down. Seba, Seba is down, but so is Solidar. Oh, it's solid day. She's down too. Cover here. One, two, three. It is over. What a win for Solidad. Solidad is victorious. Gets the win here. And the winner of the match, the Luchador Solidad. Congratulations to both of the wrestlers. That was a very good performance. That was yeah. really great.
as as the competitors are making their way down uh, back to the back. Uh, we also have a referee change now because you know it's difficult to be a referee here in, in the pro wrestling industry. And who is going to replace uh, just in time? Oh, it's fan favorite legendary referee Alfie Dental. Hi, Alfie. How are you doing? Great to see you. Are you ready? Are you ready to referee the main event? We hope so too. So, so we only got three matches. So let's start with the second uh, advert. Uh, you know, money making break. <laughs> uh, well, uh, DIA is sponsored by Black Dragon Animations, Honey Plants Design, specializing in boots for wrestling, fashion, and wrestling animations. Relaunching with new moves and gadgets. Just pay the chalice for gadgets. Phantom moves are now available. Team Wildfire animations. And then of course we got uh, our brother fat VWE and our sister fat WPWF. Um, I think that was it, yeah. So, I hope you're all excited because I think it's now time for the main event. Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I shouldn't have any more distractions. Oh, well, what's that? Well, looks like we're about to get set for our main event here. Friend Blackheart taking on uh, Benjamin Nirvana, the big boss Benjamin man. Benjamin Nirvana, yep. Yeah. Looks like we are about. Wait, that, uh, get that started. That, uh, wait, wait, h hold on a minute. Wait, what's going on here? Someone is coming out here. That's a. I think that person is not that size of Ren Blackheart or. That's ben not Ren Nirvana. Blackheart or. Lu that's not Ren Blackheart or um Benja. That is. That looks like it's Emma Gray Mist. Well, what is she uh, doing out here? Well, she, she, she doesn't have a match. Well, well, last week, Emma Grey Mist was in that title match against the DIE Women's Champion, Amaterasu. And then it looked like Emma Grey Mist, she was about to win the title. And then we had, and, and then we had, um, Katie Carter and Lou McMahon. Interfere in that match, tack both Amaterasu and Emma Gray Miss, forcing the referee to throw the match out. <laughs> oh, really? So, That's not nice. So, I believe Emma Gray Miss is going to come out here and she's going to say something in mm -hmm. regards to what happened last week. And what are the consequences of that actions? Yeah, what are the consequences of the actions though? And there are many people out there who honestly believe that Emma Gramis should be the new DIE Women's Champion. Well, I didn't sell that match, but I must say, heads up uh, to be able to nearly defeating a goddess like yeah. Amaterasu. Ah, the fans are cheering on. Emma, let's go, Emma. Woo! Yeah. yeah, she is definitely a fan favorite here in the DAE arena. And I'm looking forward to hear what she has to say about the current situation concerning the title and uh, Luke McMahon and Katie Carter.
Emma sliding into the ring and she she gets ready I guess to let us know about her opinion about the situation uh, okay, okay now Emma asking for a microphone yeah wait let me pick up on here catch I think you may have broken the microphone. No, I think she needs to turn it on. Okay. Thankfully, we got wireless microphones these days. And there okay, she is. So, so Emma says, "Oh, if you want to read it, Nicole, you can go ahead. Let's yeah. read it." Uh, so last week. I was inches away from beating Amaterasu for the women's title. I had her pinned for the 1-2-3. And these two idiots who can't stop sticking their nose where it doesn't belong showed up yet again. Yep, I agree with that though. She was seconds away from beating the goddess Amaterasu. Katie and Louv. I beat you right in the middle of the ring two weeks ago at the same time. You lost your chance. You could have waited and earned another shot. But no, you had to get involved again and ruin mine. Get both of your asses out here now. Oh, that's interesting. She's coding out both uh, Katie Carter and Luke McMahon. Uh, which is understandable. I think I would do the same if I would be a wrestler. I would just lost the, probably the biggest opportunity of my lifetime. Ah, uh, there we go, we got Katie Carter coming out to the ring. Or at least at ringside at for the moment. And on the other side of the ramp, uh, Luke McMahon is coming in, out. Katie just slides into the ring. Luke McMahon follows up. And... Now Emma is facing both of the two veteran wrestlers. Oh, that should be interesting. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, bye bye. 
Uh, you interfered and you interfered. And it's not fair. Well, now you know how it feels when you two when you two got involved in my shot. As uh, she's talking, uh, Kitty is talking to Emma and Luke McMahon. I think, or Emma Terrasso. I'm not sure. Oh, talking. this ain't good. Oh, this about here is not good though. And Luke McMahon says, "So in mine." Oh, she doesn't seem to be happy either. Yeah, they yeah they did do a lot of interfering. In each other's matches, though, the past several weeks, though. Well, everybody's gotten involved in everybody's shot. I think everyone is tired of it. Yep. Can only agree with uh, Emma here. This uh, this is a wrestler, a professional wrestling company, and not a kindergarten. Uh, Katie Con continues, and to be honest, Emma, you talked way too much for somebody that's outnumbered. And then there is Emma again, and I don't mind beating both your asses at the same time again. Ooh! Ooh, what a powerful statement by Emma here. Very powerful statement. She shows no fear. Yeah, but uh, I don't think that's very smart. She oh, wait a second. Wait. She says, and who says I'm outnumbered? And she points to the stage. Oh, what, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, oh, look. Oh, it's the champ. It's the DIE Women's Champion. It's Amaterasu. She's out here. Yes, for fuck's sakes, really. Yeah. Yep, and Amaterasu, though, she almost lost her DIE Women's Championship last week. But the interference, though, caused the match to be thrown out. And as a result, Amaterasu is still the DIE Women's Champion, though. But I guarantee you, though, that the next time, though, it might not be she might not be so lucky though. As Amaterasu though, she bows to us. I think she bows to everybody. Yeah, she does. And there we go. People watch it, watch it. You don't want to miss it. Yep. As He's about to do her. Oh, oh there the Emma again. Oh, and two of us in this ring now. Let's get a ref in here and have ourselves a tag team match right now. Wow! So we about to have an. Imp it looks like we about to have an impromptu tag match, and the referee. Yep, the referee's getting in the ring. Oh, yep! It looks like this match is gonna happen, folks. We got a tag team match. Holla, holla! Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah, holla, holla, holla! Yep. Here's Amaterasu though doing her her goddess the spin. Quick, the quick the quickest striptease in the business by Amaterasu. She spins and spins and spins and spins and the claws sheet off. I, I don't know how she'd use that. And there we go. The transformation is complete. Uh, the two teams are trying to decide who is goes first. Uh, it looks like uh, if Katie Carter is starting uh, the match in the one corner and Emma Kramer is starting at the other side. 
Hmm, that should be interesting. Here we go. All right, here we go. Bell has rung, and here we go. This impromptu tag match is underway here. Katie Carter and Emma Graymiss, they're going to start this off, though. Lou McMahon and the DIE Women's Champion. Ama, Ama Tarasu are going to be on the apron. Here we go. Column number tie up right there in the center of the ring here though. <clears throat> Is it being a lock up here though? And look at that though, and there's a knee right to the gut by Katie Carter though, without wrist lock working on Emma Gray Mist. Now just Working on that arm there. Look at the oh, right there. There's a strike right to that arm there. Here we go, Irish whip. So I'm a Tarasa here. She looks on, looks like a bit worried here. Look at this, the arm bar takedown there by. Katie Carter to Emma Greymist. Katie Carter taunting Emma Greymist, saying, How's that shoulder feeling now? Okay, but we don't even know whether or not Amaterasu, if she's at 100% after she took that pile driver last week. There you go, nice kick right there, right to the gut. I am a great miss. Here we go, Irish whip. Whip here though, and Emma with that drop kick right to the face. Now, Emma Gray missed to the top rope here. Oh, fly cross body. She connected. Now the referee, and now Emma Gray miss. Tell him the ref to start counting now. Oh, here we go. Shoots the half. Here's the cover. Here's one. And the kick out at one. Emma Gramis picks up 
Uh, Katie Carter, fix her up here. Irish whip right there, right in the corner. Here comes Emma Gray Miss here. Up, 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 and Katie Carter. Katie Carter, she caught Emma Gray Miss right there. The head scissors takes down Emma Gray Mist. There's a wrist lock there by, by, by Katie Carter. And the tag is made. And I'm out. Terachi just said, uh, people make some noise. And the people started to make some noise as Louv got now attacked Lou in. Now Louv McMahon though, is in the match here. Oh, Russian leg sweep there. Just dropped her. And kips up. Oh, what a nice, nasty attack by Luf McMahon here. As she drops down uh, the much smaller Emma Creamist on the back. Oh, King Kong knee drop there. Right to the face. Crowd letting it be known, they did not like that at all. Yes, I think no, nobody liked that at all. Whereas Luf just picked her up and hit a Mokuna Mich Michinoka driver, but yep. I think uh, Alfie missed it. This was a pinfall. Oh, I am, don't think that that Luf will be happy about that. Uh, but Luv doesn't seem to care, she is just focused at her opponent and picks Emma back up. And the thing about it is, the thing about it is that Amaterasu though, she is yet to get in this match. There's an Irish whip there. Up the ropes here. Oh, clothesline knocked down Emma Grey Miss though, and Emma Grey Miss is in trouble. She needs to make a tag now. Desperately needs to make yeah. tag somehow in this match, uh, which will be not easy. She's also uh, the smallest competitor in the match. Oh, uh, there's the Andre.
Now, Emma, though, is in trouble here. And Amaterasu just said, Remember your training, fight with honor. Well, I don't think that Katie Carter and Luke McMahon are concerned about honor as they just want to be the champion and make a statement out of here uh, make a statement here in the ring yeah. right now, right here uh, with Emma Kramist Now Luv Luv is just staring down she's not moving, she's just staring look at that uh, oh, bar, oh, scoop slam there Emma is in trouble. She is in a lot of trouble though. She's got to find some way to get to Amaterasu and make the tag. And KT just got tagged in. A clever strategy by the two girls to keep uh, Emma, to, you know, there's to a, tag. There's a very good thing in there. and out. A vaulting boom salt there. And now Katie Carter though just continuing to assault Emma Graymist though with multiple stomps. There is the cover though. Here's one, two, and Emma Graymist kicks out at two. Frustration, Katie Carter's face. Katie Carter, though, is insanely frustrated here. Well, uh, but I think not as frustrated as Amaterasu, who has to wait at ringside, eager to get yeah. attacked. Oh, some stiff kicks from Katie Carter. To the midsection of Emma Kramist. Look at that, um, there's another low roundhouse there, and, and now a knee right to the gut. There's a oh, four on club there. Off the ropes there. And Katie Carter, oh, the true secret submission there, though. There's an octopus hold here. Well, Emma Graymus, will she tap after all the punch, man? Look at Amaterasu. Amaterasu, she is reaching. She's trying to basically telling Emma, Emma to tag her in. Katie Carter just yelling at Emma, telling her to tap out. Backbreaker there by Emma. That's one way to that's one way to get out of it. But now can Emma and she make the tag? That's the question. I'm a Tarasi once again is reaching for the tag. This is Emma. Uh, this is uh, Emma's chance to maybe get Amaterasu in the match and change the whole game. Basically. Yeah. If she Mom, can Emma, you her. can do it. She's over there, and she she, she got it. She got she got herself up. And there's the tag. Was made. Finally, Amaterasu is now in the match, and here she comes.
Oh, now Amaterasu, the DIE Women's Champion. Now Lube, though. Lube trying to make the tag here. But look at this. Amaterasu not going to let Kenny Carl make this tag. And I'm talking to Robert the Boston Crab. Submission all locked in. Emma Gray missed the outside three. She is hurting. Now, look at this. Look, look, look at Katie. Katie trying to crawl to those ropes, though. Can Katie make it to the ropes? I'm a Tarasi, though. It doesn't look that way. But... Got it locked in. Wait, wait. She, she's somehow... A submission specialist. A submission specialist, though. She will twist you into a pretzel if need be. And now, and now Katie manages to make it to the ropes. And look at all, oh, look at this though. We saw all the tools who did this last week though. Last week though. She normally has that disc. She normally fights with Arda though, but we saw her do this last week though. To Emma Graymiss though, where she actually had her in the in the Celestial Ropes, and Emma Gramis managed to make it to the ropes, though, but Amaterasu did not let go of the hold, forcing the ref to count. Now, Amaterasu making that pose there. Yeah, she's stalking her prey, waiting mm -hmm. for Katie to get now back. Now, it's the goddess spin. Amaterasu, though, she might be, she might be looking... She might be looking though to end this right here though. Off the ropes. She comes. Oh, look at this, look at the octopus hole now. And now dragging away from the ropes there. Back to the submission game though again. Like I said though, Amaterasu will tie you up into a now. Wait a minute though, this is Lou McMahon, though. She now, just slided back in the ring. She slid in the ring. Oh, drop kicked Emma Tarasi right in the face, and now here comes Emma. Now the referee stepping in front of Emma. Referee telling Emma to back off, though. While, while at the other side, Kitty is crawling to the ropes to make a tag with, with Luke McMahon. <coughs> Emma is back outside, and there we go, the tag was made. It's now Luke's turn to face off against Emma Terrasu. Oh, that's a question we are not able to answer. As Luke McMahon just picks up Emma Terrasso and drives her down with another Michinoku driver. This time, Alfie goes for the pin. One, two, and now just a two count. Emma Terrasso just gets her shield up and Alfie sees it and stops the count. So obviously he is able to see it. Oh, hair toss by Luke McMahon against the champion. And Luffy is starting to feel it. She, she feels that now is her time to showcase 
that she can beat the champion. A bit of trash talk is following, but no long answer, Proud, huh? She walks up to the champion and picks up Amaterasu. Harsh kick to the to the mid section of the champion. As Amaterasu hits another drop kick straight on the masked face of the goddess. Yeah, what is going on? And she goes for another pitfall. Okay, one and two and at just a two count. Ah, it's, it doesn't look good for Emma and Amaterasu at the current moment in the match. As Kitty and Luke. Uh, used but uh, against both opponents quick tags to uh, soften up and there she go uh, Amaterasu get whipped into the corner as Luke McMahon runs out but then oh my god she just uh, she just used the tag Lotus uh, to catch Luke McMahon off guard and put her into a submission move but uh, Katie breaks it up and kicks uh, with a kick to the back from Amaterasu. Uh. Right, the referee starts the uh, count out. One. Two. He said two as the goddess is slowly getting back up to her feet. Uh, we are at three. Oh my god, Chalks two against uh, Amaterasu as she tries to uh, slide into the ring. And the ref continues to count because uh, Amaterasu is down after this vicious attack from Katie Carter. Uh, that doesn't look good for the champion and for Emma Kremist, who herself is just so weak, uh, trying to make a way around the ring uh, to square off probably against Katie Carter to prevent end of any future interactions as the referee is by six. Irish whip in the ring follows to break up the, uh, the, the ten count as <coughs> as, K as Emma quickly spears uh, Kitty Carter down to the ground to deliver to add uh, you know some punches and if you feel the punishment. But at the same time, in the ring, uh, Luf McMahon is picking up the champion. Uh, what has she planned? Oh, and oh, there Luke. she goes. Oh, Cradle DDT, that's it. That is it, folks. Okay, she rolls over the champion for the Luke pin. Luke cover, one, two, and three. Oh my god, a three count, ladies and gentlemen. Luf McMahon and Katie Carter have just beaten the DIE Women's Champion Amaterasu and Emma Kramist. Katie Carter though just r rubbing it in their face. Wow, Luf McMahon has just pinned the DIE Women's Champion. Well, that definitely gonna put her on the top of the contenders list. Well, probably won't. It probably won't put her on the top though, but it'll definitely, but it, it'll definitely shoot her up there.
Well, when when was the last time that Amaterasu got beaten into the ring? I think uh, that's definitely going to put her on the top of the contendership list. Mm -hmm. Huge upset. Oh, Emma is upset about what happened to Chest, what just transpired in the ring. At the fan shouts, smack her, Emma, smack her. But oh no, Katie's sneaking out of the I know this ain't good. Was this? Oh, a guitar crusher! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Once again. Well, the winners of the match are standing tall. While the Whoa. champion Amaterasu and Emma Creamist are late. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. wait. Now, what is Lube about to do? Oh, Lube! Go for that critical DDT again! Oh, spikes! Emma into the mat! Well, you know what, Lube McMahon? And Katie Carter, though, they get the victory here. But the bottom line is this, though. Only one of them can be the DIE Women's Champion. But right now, Amaterasu is still the champion. And I'm pretty sure that Emma Gray missed. She's going to be looking to get her rematch for that championship. One day. And look at Lou raising her hand in the air though. Proud of herself. Oh well, I hope that you uh, leave in the ring soon because I'm sure she don't want to get locked in the cage that will be lowered in a few mo moments for the main event of today's shows as Ryan, Ryan Blackheart squares off against the big boss Benji Nirvana and that much is going to happen I think right now After the ladies here have left the ring, so yeah, Emma just proclaims this is not over, and yes, we are pretty sure it's not over yet. Emma Graham is shouting that this isn't over, though, as her and Amaterasu as they head to the back. All right, everybody, it is now time. The moment that everyone I believe has been waiting for, though, it is now time for. The main event though, the steel cage match. If you haven't gotten your popcorn or your hot dogs or your snacks, you may want to get them now. <laughs> because I promise you this this match does ramen count. Yes, get your ramen too if you have it. Wait, what? <laughs> anyway. Prepare yourselves, people, because we are about to have an amazing main event here. Benjamin Nirvana and Ren Blackheart. These two do not like each other at all. They do not oh. like each other at Why that? All. Why that? What has happened that the two are uh, into such a moody 
a bad mood against each other to square off into the uh, cage match. Yep. Challenge was made last week in a cage match, though, and then Benja, Benja issued the challenge to Ren, and Ren answered with a Baltimore cutter. What what is a Baltimore cutter? <laughs> Basically an RKO. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, is Ren from Baltimore? Pretty much, yes. <laughs> That's strange because my notes say it's he's from Washington DC. Yeah, he's from Washington DC, but his finisher is called the Baltimore Cutter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, introducing first from the high-rise towers in Dallas, Texas. He weighs 290 pounds at a height of seven feet two. The big boss man, Banja Nirvana. Yep, and here comes Banja. Oh, what a nice uh, purple robe. And he starts to smoke. Uh, does he not know that's not healthy? Mostly for an athlete. As the former champion makes it way to the ring. Uh, And strictly ignores the no smoking signs in the arena by smoking a big cigar. <sighs> okay, so his opponent. That's quite a, a quite a size difference between the two, as his opponent hails from Washington D.C. at 245 pounds at the height of six feet seven. Uh, Six feet three, and uh, the enforcer ran Blackheart. Oh, that doesn't look good. I think Ren is old business today. The two men are in the ring. Uh, is this a poor escape over the rule, uh, over the term, over the cage only rules, or with pinfall and submissions inside of the uh, of the cage? Let me see. Hmm. Uh, both of the men are looking up, staring at the cage as the ca see, as cage itself gets lowered down in to you know, make connections to the ring. You and me. How the two men cheering at last few, uh, well, easy fifty words 
Uh, while the ring got slower down. Oh well, I guess you're not waiting that the ring got lowered. So it's oh, wait a minute, though. The cages are being lowered, though, and they just, they just fighting here. Yeah, that should be interesting as oh, that two trading punches. I, I thought that the cage was supposed to be lowered here. Well, it it appears there's some um, technical difficulties. Uh, drop nice drop cage from uh, Ren Blackheart, and I just get informed that this match is a. Uh, uh, escape only match, so the only way, only way to win this match is by escaping either over the top of the cage or through to the cage door. And but apparently, though, the cage is not being lowered, though, for some reason. Well, I think that means that this match can take a while. Because if the cage will not be lowered in time, uh, this match can will probably continue until neither of the men can continue and the rain, uh, rain is just picking up a bench here and throwing him into the corner oh what a job Oh, beautiful Uranagi from uh, the big shot, Banjo Nirana to counter, uh, to catch Ren off guard as he uh, rushed uh, at the, you know, to the, to the big shot, uh, to the big boss man. And now the ring gets lowered and this Finally, match can really begin. Now the cage has finally been lowered after like five minutes though. And now here we go. Now the real fight's gonna begin. Shoves Ren Blackheart into the ropes here. Oh stun gun against her. Uh, oh yep. And this matchup over here, it just got five times more dangerous. And look at Benja. Benja already saying to open the door. Oh, I don't think that's it's that easy. Yeah, yeah it's not be that easy. Yeah. Look at Ren. Ren grabbing Benja's foot. Yeah, there's oh, a ground stomp there by Benja. I don't think that it's going to be that easy for the big shot to win the match. As he just picks up Rand Blackheart. <gasps> but Rand is fighting back, he's throwing punches. Oh, there's still kick there! Head and leg suplex there. The chance defense are definitely on the sand on off run blackout. And this match has only just begun.
It did all these two. Ren has got Vinch's arm here. Oh, he's just went to another. He went to a hammerlock from the wrist lock into oh, a hammerlock. Dude, Irish and whip. Binge it, tossing Ren. And the ropes here. Oh, and bit. Oh, and Ren's back. Hit that cage. Down he goes. Look at Benja, Benja yelling him to get up here. Oh, miss! And he went face first into against steel. Ren is running up against uh, Benji Nirvana, who is still leading against the ropes, still groggy from the impact. But wait a second. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of this. Red just said, you gonna pay for this. I'm not sure what he has in mind, but uh, to get some payback on the big boss, uh, it's probably not going to be some. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this, though. Now, just slamming his head. Yeah. Oh, there we go. He just it just collapsed. I'm surprised that, uh, that, that I'm surprised that he's not bleeding yet, considering yeah, the fact I'm kinda that. Surprised. And there we go, we are going to continue in the side of the ring as uh, Ren Blackheart is once again putting on a wrist lock, but the big shot takes advantage of oh, the Oh, I already feel a gut buster here. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, breaks his eyes and full up with a gut buster. Just holding him up. I'm not sure what he has planned, but he is uh, pushing Ren against the corner. Oh, oh okay. Ooh, dang, just slamming his head right in the cage. He's just returning to favor from earlier. Sure is. Ah, the fans are. I love it when the fans stating their opinion about wrestlers. Like we just heard. Asshole, asshole. Oh! 
Ah. Oh. And once again, head first against this. And both men are down here. Because this is a cage match with only escape uh, rules, ah, that means there are no uh, count out, no tank count. And this match is going to continue when the two men are back up on their feet. And yeah, there are no count outs, there are no disqualifications. I think this match can take a while. Yeah. Yes. For one, I don't see that need. I don't. See, I can't see Banjo climbing over the top ropes. Uh, I mean, over the top of the cage. There we go, the big boss, once again demands that the, uh, that the door gets open up and I think it's just going slow. Oh my god, I just saw it on the camera, ah, the big shot is bleeding from his forehead. What the hell was that? Both men are laying in the ring. It looks like this match was going to continue. Uh, oh, it looks like as if Banjo is slowly starting to crawl to the door, which is still open, and the same goes for Rand Blackheart. As oh. oh. What's what's going on? Oh oh oh! Oh my God! Both men are. I didn't catch it. Uh, the camera angle was off. Uh, uh, who won? Alfie, who won the match? Hey, he said it's a draw. A, a draw? How how is yep, this possible? Yeah, they both apparently apparently they both hit the ground at the same time. Oh really? Come on. Really? Oh, the, the match get uh, the cage get ri risen. I guess it's really over. So, uh, no, nobody won. Oh, come on, restart the match. We want a winner. Well, uh, I, I guess that was it for today, I guess. I mean, uh...
we had. I think we had quite an amazing show tonight. Uh, we had Ophelia Dole against uh, Karma Star. Uh, with Karma winning the match, uh, the second bout of the, uh, of the evening was uh, Silver the Mad Hatter against. Uh, Uh, against uh, Solidad, uh, a match which Solidad won. Uh, then we had a very interesting tag team match between Katie Carter and Luther McMahon against Emma Kramist and the champion uh, Amaterasu, which was won by Katie Carter and Luther McMahon. And now we just witnessed the main event a cage match between Ren Blackheart and the Big Boss. Uh, Bench Nirvana, which ended in a throw as both men uh, landed at outer, landed outside of the cage at the same time. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen after this, but thank you for coming, thank you for joining us here tonight, and see you all tomorrow. I hopefully. So good night and good fight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good at this. So, is that it? Are we done?